What in your opinion makes you a more suitable I can't, candidate? I can't hear, I can't hear. What in your opinion makes you a more suitable candidate for Grace Mang or Liz Crowley? Today's the day to lay out my vision. There's going to be plenty of time in the campaign to do con compare and, and contrast and, and, and my record versus anybody else's record. Um, I'm not sure that the field is complete yet. I mean, fishing doesn't even start till tomorrow. But um, there'll be plenty of time for that. Today is about, you know, my vision for what I want to do in Congress, how I want to level the economic playing field, how I want, I want to protect New Yorkers, from the threat of terrorism. Basically, a continuation of all the things that I've been doing in the State Assembly. I mean, people know me as a serious, effective legislator. So this is just an outgrowth of that. Do you mind the Demo uh, Democratic Party did not endorse you? I just didn't hear you. Uh, did you mind that the Queen's Democratic Party, they did not endorse you? Yeah. You know, there are going to be a lot of endorsements in the next three months. Uh, some that I will get, some that I will, won't get. The only one that matters is the one on June 26th. That's where the Democratic voters will come out and select their candidate, and I'm very confident it'll be me. Are you mad at Gary Ackman? Why would I be mad at Gary Ackman? Because uh, so after you just send out a press list, so you're, not, you're, you're not gonna run, and he sent out a press list, and he's gonna run, and uh, so right after you're talking, talk, talk to people. I'm here running for Congress, uh, in part because Gary decided not to, so I wouldn't harbor any ill will towards, towards Gary for that. Um, you know, Gary's got a legacy of representing this district, oh, you know, part of this district, um, parts of Queens and Nassau for, for 30 years. And um, there are a lot of things that he did that was, was very good, and I, those I'd like, to, I'd like to emulate. But we're starting a new course, and we're going to have a new member of Congress. I, I think it's going to be me. And um, uh, I think we're going to have a, a, a vision that matches what people need in, in, in 2012 and beyond. Do you think there it's <laughs> Sorry, it's a very heavily Asian function in the district. Um, do you have any? Um, I mean, we've never actually been in the community as I've met you directly. I mean, do you have any? Uh, I don't know if you. I don't know if you could say that to to, to the uh, women maybe, maybe up front. Maybe, maybe not. But I mean, if you have any plans, you know, to you know, yeah. meet the Asian. The the, the the district that I have now, the assembly district, is incredibly diverse. From 23rd Avenue here in in Southern White Zone, North Flushing, all the way to South Richmond Hill. And on any given week, I could be in a, a Korean or a Chinese church, a synagogue, a Sikh temple, a Bangladeshi mosque, uh, you name it. And that diversity of, of, of my current district really prepares me well to run in, in the 6th Congressional District. Um, so I have a great relationship with the Asian community, Chinese community, Korean community, the, the, the South Asian community, both the Bangladeshi community, Indian community, the Sikh Indian community, the Hindu Indian community, and then of course uh, also part of the Asian community, the, 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 um, the Bukharian Jewish community. So um, I, I view myself in politics as someone who builds coalitions and, and is a coalition builder. That's the only way I could have been successful, as successful as I've been as a, an assembly member in the district that I represent, and that's what I'm going to be able to do in running for, for the 6th Congressional District, build those coalitions that includes uh, everyone. And by the way, just down the, the, the block a little bit is a, a Korean uh, church with a, with, a, with a Korean center, senior center, um, that I'm there often enough that, that people think I'm a counselor. So uh, I think the community knows me well. There are some people who have called for Eric Holder to investigate the NYPD over its um, Muslim surveillance program that's been happening around uh, New York City and, and along the East Coast. I'm wondering if you've taken a position on that. I think it's very important that the NYPD gather uh, intelligence uh, to, uh, to prevent a terrorist attack um, and, and certainly gathering open source uh, intelligence material that's on websites um, is, is, is extremely important. The, the goal is to prevent a terrorist attack from, from happening. Um, whether that crosses the line when they send uh, an agent on, on a rafting trip with a group of Muslim students, um, whether or not the NYPD is sending um, uh, personnel into mosques where there is no identifiable threat, uh, that's something that does uh, concern me. Whether it rises to the level of, of the Attorney General doing an investigation, um, I don't know, but, but it is something that, that needs to be, to be balanced.
we need to gather intelligence to keep us safe, but we don't want to trample on the civil liberties of any uh, of any New York. And what kind of job do you think uh, John Lewis has done as Comptroller and, and Joe Crowley has done as a Congressman? Today, uh, I get to talk about me and what I want to do, what I want to achieve in this district, and I've got a full agenda, and I talked about it. Leveling the economic playing field, getting people access to pensions, uh, making college affordable for kids, uh, making Wall Street work for New Yorkers instead of periodically uh, imploding our, our financial uh, markets. Um, that's what I'm going to focus on. The, the, the Tier 6 plan that was passed in Albany, is that a, a difficult, was, was that a difficult vote to take? There's been some unions that have been pretty angry about that one. Well, I voted against the Tier 6 okay. uh, proposal, um, and, and it was uh, really difficult in the sense that it did pass uh, the Assembly and the Senate. It was a, a, a priority for the governor. Um, I have enormous respect for, for Governor Cuomo, but my priority has, has always been uh, to represent the interests of, of, of my district and the people that, that have elected me. And, and I think everybody in politics, everybody in the community, and everybody in government uh, knows that about me. Republicans in the Senate will come to their senses and not waste $50 million uh, by having a second, or at this point, a third primary in September. So, um, so I expect to win the Democratic nomination in, in, in June, and, and you know someone else will be representing the, the 25th Assembly District. Uh, you know, maybe half as good as I do. Okay, thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out.